Scott, his mum and his granny have arrived in good time for their plane. His eyesight has returned just in time. 18 up. Scott's thrilled. His granny's terrified. nervous, but Captain Clack has known worse. We were actually coming back from um, Santa Domingo and somebody asked if they could have a flight deck visit and uh, we of course are always trying to, uh, we, we always allow flight deck visits if we possibly can and a gentleman came up with his wife and uh, the wife was actually wearing rather short denim, denim shorts and sat on the jump seat behind us and we were chatting away to them and uh, asking whether they'd had a good holiday, showing them a few things around the flight deck, just a general chat. And he did mention that his wife was rather nervous of flying, and um, but we thought nothing of it. And then all of a sudden, she just suddenly said, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. And she disappeared out of the flight deck door and towards the front toilet and with her husband following. And we didn't think anything of it, and we just sat, turned back around, and were chatting together. And all of a sudden we realised that there was a rather strange smell in the flight deck. And in fact, unfortunately, the lady had had an accident on the seat on the flight deck floor and trailing all the way to the uh, back toilet. She'd uh, had a rather serious accident. And to the extent, in fact, that the first officer actually went on oxygen because the smell was so bad. your cocktail yet? No. Can move them on well, look, here's your lunch. That's what he's been moaning for. Well, he's starving. Scott's special meal has arrived as ordered. All right. Is that nice? Cigarette spirits, any wine, cigarettes, tobacco. So why have you just sold me 655? If I can't smoke one. Come on, that's not on that. You just saw me, you've taken my yeah, money, yeah, no, 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 just no, no, some red flags and I can't smoke listen, one. Listen, Why? I, listen, I take your point, but they sell condoms in boots. Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> Northerners, when they go on holiday... Spend all the money. If you've saved up £500 for your holiday, you don't want to come home with any money left. So if you come back, you say, a fab holiday. I went out with £500, come back with nothing, spent everything. That is a brilliant, brilliant holiday. Come on here with £50, now, don't they? got £50, pound. what can I buy £50? Pound? They just want anything to use all the money up. Gatwick, they say £500 up for the holiday, they come back on the flight, do you have a good holiday? Come back with £200. Pound. The Green Hill Hotel Derbyshire. Landlords Graham and Marilyn Woodhouse are back. But their holiday video is not what they'd hoped for. I would say it was near enough the holiday from hell. They'd been due to join their cruise ship two days late when it arrived in Malta. And we took the video camera out and so that they could purposely watch the ship coming into harbour and watching it come across the bay. And then all of a sudden it did a massive U-turn and went away from Malta. They were just amazed that we'd seen it come in and then go away. Bad weather had prevented the ship from docking was speechless. <laughs> Plans to travel to Sicily and then to Rome to catch the boat fell through and the couple were stranded on Malta. All we did for that week was move into three hotels and then back to Manchester. Two very disappointed people. Back on the training course, the cabin crew hopefuls are learning emergency drill. Fasten the body bolts. I've not got um, uh, Lindsay and Kirsty are first up for the most feared part of the course, the smoke-filled cabin. Keep the communication up. Right? Make sure you're okay. Can you can it all right? What? Just relax, it's panic. Can we just get in and do it? Yeah, go on. Right. 
you go in and get her. Get right down. Get right down on the floor. Keep holding the flimsy. <laughs> Keep holding the wall. They have two and a half minutes to find a body. It's hard to breathe, impossible to see, and the cramped conditions often induce panic. Communication in there was absolutely brilliant. I could hear everything you were saying out here. Oh, I think I might cry. I know. Oh, that was awful. That was the best thing I've ever, oh. ever had to do. It's the worst thing you'll ever have to do. <laughs> and I'm not doing that again. We had to find out. Did we do it in two and a half minutes? Yeah. But at least I have to do it for three years. You don't have to do it for another three years. <laughs> In Spain, Scott is enjoying his holiday, with one problem. It's just, um, I don't, I, it's limited access for him, I think, in certain places. But well, like on the pool, then I tried to get him to walk around the pool, and because of it all being little stones and things, it's um, difficult for him to walk on, and it's painful on his feet. I bet you can't die, under. The Spanish people have been really nice with Scott. They know there's something wrong, but they're not rude and they don't stare at him. I love it in Spain. It's the best holiday I've ever had. I wish I could stay another week. At Manchester, a first-time flyer for BJ. Hello. Who's the nervous one? Me. <gasps> and why are you nervous? Because I've never done it before. You've never flown before? No. <gasps> God, mate, it's two of us. Really? God, no, just a flyer. Sorry? Never, ever, ever, ever flown? Never, ever. God. <laughs> so you're looking forward to it? No. Well, you can be nervous, but you can still be looking forward to it. Well, mixed feelings, you know? Yeah. But, but why, why are you nervous? If you haven't done it before, there's nothing to be nervous about. If they'd let me drive it, I'd be quite happy. <laughs> if they let you drive it, I'd be nervous. Well, let's swap, eh? I mean, I'm not bothered if you're nervous. I've seen passengers a lot more nervous than her. Um, they refuse to get on board the aircraft, or if they actually get on board the aircraft, it's, well, they're just inconsolable, really. They're in tears. It's one of those things, if you, it's like being scared of, of spiders. There's no, there's no rational explanation for it. I'm trying to get into these bloody napkins and I can't. Yes, I can. Back at the training course, Jason and Aaron are still trying. I've pulled these two girls. They are so nice. They are, are really names? nice. Their names are Sarah and Sarah. Would you believe it? Sarah and Sarah. All right, cool. It's amazing. And for once, succeeding. There's a little step up, yeah. right, so don't trip when you go in. I'll, no. I'll show you in. And there's lots of buttons and controls. For God's sake, don't touch anything, because no, I'm not no, doing no. loop the loop tonight. As, as soon right. as I walk in, I mean, can I just see... Well, the, Can I the, see out, yeah. you know, well, all round? Remember, it's dark. Yeah, so I know, but I mean... you're not going to see a lot, unless we're travelling It's all glass, over. isn't it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So Honestly, what am I going to see when I get out there, then? Well, you'll see the captain, you'll see the first officer, you'll see lots and lots of controls and lights. And, and the captain will probably turn around and speak to you, and he'll just chat to you. And, if I and you suddenly, can ask him any question you like. If I suddenly disappear and come out, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. But you won't feel like that. See, we've got those bumps again, haven't we? You get bumps in a car, don't you? Yeah, but I'm driving it. Well, he's driving this. And he's yeah, probably a lot more qualified than you are. Right, let's get this gentleman out of the way, and I'll okay. take you in, all right? OK. After you, you yeah. Right, I'll take you in. It, it's not wrong to see, honestly. Come on. So if I, I mean, if I just want to come out, I'll come out, all right? Of course right? you can. Just a door here. Yeah. 
Okay. I can't do this. What's your name, by the way? Jenny. Jenny, come on in, Jenny. I'll introduce you to the captain. Oh. All right, here we go. Lots of lights. That's all. Come on, darling. Oh my God, I don't know. It's like the TARDIS. Oh, screw. Yeah, I know. Gosh, it's, it's just so amazing. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually seeing it. Jason's no longer flying high. You got blown out. I don't know where they are, man. I don't know where they are. As well as the brace, 20,000 hats, one ukulele, and an artificial leg were left on board last year. Scott has decided he wants to be a pilot when he grows up. That's a plane and it goes And the Woodhouses are planning another holiday this year, but definitely not a cruise. It's the last in the current series of Dream Lives for sale later. In a perfect show send-off, Johnny Irwin heads to sunny Florida with a family looking for business opportunities stateside. Catch your final fix at 8 on Sky 1 HD.